Hey folks, SharePoint Quester here. Today we'll be going over enabling document sets within a document library in SharePoint 2010. A document set is a content type that allows you to group documents that can be managed as a set. The management of the set of documents can be based on uh, workflow or metadata, uh, thus making the document set a perfect container within a document library for grouping key documents. So to enable document sets within a document library, we need to first of all make sure that the document set site collection feature has been activated. So this is at the site collection level. So I'm going to go to my site actions, site settings, and under site collection administration, we're going to click on site collection features. We are going to look for document sets and we're going to activate this feature. Okay, the feature has been activated. So now we can uh, enable the document sets within a document library. So let's go to our shared documents as an example. And then within here we're going to go to library. We're going to go to library settings. And then under the advanced settings in here We're going to allow management of content types because the document set is a, a content type. And here we're going to go ahead and click OK. Back on the library settings, we're going to drop to the bottom of the screen where it says content types. We're going to add from an existing site content type. And then we're going to select document set and add. And go ahead and click on OK. So now if we go back to the shared documents and if I want to add a new item from within the ribbon, you're going to notice that you have the ability now to create a document set as opposed to just a regular document. Because again, it's just another uh, content type that we're using in here. And the new document set uh, form loads up and I can now give it a name, a description. So this will be my cars and a description for the document set and go ahead and click OK and now I can start grouping documents that make a car if you know if I manufacture a car or whatever uh, maybe documents related to windows doors tires etc but this is going to be a document set a set of documents that all of them uh, make my cars and I can apply workflow or metadata around this document set this concludes this video thanks for listening in